seen series based around parenthood, but Children Ruin Everything is such a refreshing and much needed take. Was there a moment for each of you when you were reading the script or filming the first season where you knew you had something special? Erin, do you want to kick us off? Uh, well, a couple things. I mean, Kurt's meeting as a writer is so, uh, I mean, he writes with love, right? And I just think when you're writing with love and you're as funny as he is, you really can't go wrong. And secondly, like there's, there's something about the way they parent that's very much a team and very sort of emotionally intelligent that I, I think is quite different than the sort of usual family sort of sitcom. Usually the guy can be you know, a palooka idiots and, or the, the, the wife can be sort of like a stick in the mud or something like that. You can fall into those tropes, but in this case, they're both sort of together when they're idiots, they're idiots together. When they screw up, they screw up together. And there's something so lovely about that, that really resonates more, I think, to me. And I think more to, I think people at home, I mean, it shows up in Canada and people are coming up to us all the time being like, it feels like you have a TV in our house. Um, yeah, I mean, I, the scripts were obviously amazing and we loved them. I think like the, when I was like, oh, this, I think this is going to be really good. Cause sometimes, you, you know, like it, it, there's so much that can go wrong <laughs> while you're making a TV show. But I think when we started shooting, we started actually with episode six, we were doing, it's a road trip episode. And like, after like a day or two of shooting, that's kind of when I was like oh yeah I think like we're making something pretty special because it was just the feeling that was happening like when we were doing the scenes and the way that it was shot and the way that it was all being treated um was mm -hmm. something really unique you're also an executive producer on this series how has your work behind the scenes impacted what you've done on screen and vice versa um, I mean, it's just, it's been nice to be like included in the process of it. Uh, I know when we were casting last year, um, it was really an interesting thing to like ha have an input on like how the cast was coming together and creating this family, you know. Um, I never thanked you for that, by the way. You, I'm you. just so, wait, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're welcome. It took me a while. Yeah. I got around that. Yeah. Now I hear it. I no, it was you. nice to handpick Aaron um, <laughs> and give up. me from yeah. obscurity. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate that. This opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Aaron, this, this series is based in Toronto, where you're from, and in the show, it's a character in itself. What has it been like getting to showcase your home city on this scale, and how has its city shaped the artists that you are today? Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's, first of all, it's an amazing treat to come back and shoot here. Uh, I live in LA now, and so um, it's, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> someone, there's someone trying someone... to get in this room, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to start this conversation. So it's an amazing treat to shoot in Toronto, which is, uh, you know, as, where I'm from, but I haven't lived here in quite some time. So it's so great to be back and see how the city's changed and grown and to have it be a character in the show where, you know, so often Toronto is a, is a city people film it often, but it's always, it's because it's so versatile. It looks like, it looks like a European city. It looks like any American city. It looks like a big, a big, it looks like New York, but it looks like also you can go to small suburbs. So for here to just play Toronto, um, I really, as a fan of Toronto, I just, uh, I love it, I, you know, and, um, and hopefully we're representing the show correctly. And growing up in Toronto, certainly being an actor in Toronto starting off was very helpful because you, you need to be able to do everything here. Like production comes here and it can, it's, it can be anything, but like you sort of have to fit whatever they're looking for and be one of the 10 guys that their look that they hire when they come here and so I think it creates a sort of blue collar atmosphere like a blue collar mentality um, where you're sort of a versatile like I'm going to be a cog in this wheel and that's and that's a very helpful thing in this business to be like this is because it's a team sport you're not sort of a me thing that really makes sense yeah. for you that, <laughs> that, I, that, I, that tracks yeah that's nice thank you no no it's a cog <laughs> right right um but yeah I think that's I think the benefit of starting off career-wise in Toronto has been immensely helpful. There's an incredible chemistry that comes off the screen between the both of you, even in the, during this interview. Was that natural from day one? How did you build that bond? Oh, wait, did you write that down before? <laughs> did you <just> that? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I think from day one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, which again, I mean, she, now that I remember that she cast me, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. But like, 
especially because it was pandemic times, like there was no getting to know people. There was no like rehearsal process really, or it was just sort of throw us into a car in this road trip episode for the first episode and hopefully it sticks. And thanks to Megan's casting abilities, I suppose. <laughs> uh, but uh, it really worked out. I, I think that there, there really is great chemistry. Um, I really love the scenes with Megan and the kids are also incredible. So hopefully it feels like a family because that's, I mean, I know cats say this all the time, but we feel like a family. Oh, yeah. And normally when they say that, that's code for like, yeah. we hate each other, but stuff <laughs> looks like a family. And it's like a weird, <laughs> by the way, that's a secret code for your introduced people. But for us, it does feel very, um, I don't think it necessarily familial, but it feels like very close. We're all, we all being, I think man, we get along okay. Yeah, we're all cogs in a machine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're cogs in a machine. Both of you have done so much comedy throughout your career. And you've said that working with Michaela and Logan, a lot of what you both were doing were riffing off what they delivered to you. How helpful has that been having your comedic background as you've collaborated with these young actors? I mean, it's definitely helpful, but like they make it easy because they're genuinely really, really funny people that mm -hmm. do very weird things. <laughs> and we very much encourage them to do weird things and say whatever kind of comes to their mind and just because and that's what makes it feel so real in the show is because the best stuff is when they're really really reacting to something that's going on and they do that really well they're very free yeah and you get to sort of mirror that a little bit or it's contagious rather with the way sort of that childlike sort of when they're experiencing things for the first time they're just reacting uh and you're like oh yeah i should do that i'm also acting i should do that that's a good way to do it <laughs> I should just listen and react, right, all right. Yeah, Megan, you recently became a new mother. Congratulations, by the way. Has that brought a new level to how you've connected with this character and the series as you're heading into season two? Yeah, it really, really has, um, especially shooting season two. I'm very grateful that I had the experience of like giving birth and like being a mother and holding a baby because quite honestly I didn't like hold too many babies before this like it's the our I think our generation is a first generation rule. well yes yeah. yes I didn't want to your baby is gross yeah. my baby <laughs> but like it I, I honestly now I didn't even realize this before I had a baby but I I think that like I, I I, I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't feel as comfortable as I do now holding a baby and dealing with kids if I didn't, because I really was coming from nothing. So uh, that it's changed everything. It's like really informed what I'm doing. Uh, final question for the two of you. The series has been such a success in Canada and now US audiences will be able to enjoy it as well. What has it meant for both of you to have this series reach a broader audience? And what are you most excited for them to see? Kurt's writing. I mean, Kurt, Kurt is an incredible guy. Like he's just writes with his whole heart. And um, he's so funny that uh, I, I'm excited for uh, everybody to see, you know, he comes from Shit's Creek and Kim's Convenience and all these amazing shows. And finally for him to be writing his own personal stuff uh, is really exciting. I mean, it's, that's what's most, that's very exciting for us to work on. And I'm so happy to, that it's, it's gonna find a wider audience. Yeah, same. I think there's, there's also like, a, it's a very talented cast um, and I'm just excited for people to see it. You know, like we live in the States and all our friends are like, when can we see the show? So it's nice to be like, Saying on this it's the cast is kind of a brag because a you're in the cast, also you made yeah. the cast. No, we're really <laughs> yeah. So it's like a double brag for you. Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. Whoever is in it and put it together is Did a great super, job. super talented. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to get the recognition for that. <laughs> <laughs>